U.S. officials are preparing for a possible permanent halt in U.S. funding to the U.N. agency that provides aid to Palestinians due to congressional opposition. Funding from the U.S. and several other Western nations was suspended in January following allegations of UNRWA staff involvement in the October 7th Hamas attack on southern Israel. UNRWA is currently under investigation regarding the allegations. Republican Representative Brian Mass said UNRWA masquerades as a relief organization while building the infrastructure to support Hamas. It is literally funneling American tax dollars to terrorism. The U.S. is UNRWA's largest donor, providing $300 million to $400 million annually and wants to await the investigation's results before reconsidering funding. A spokesperson for the agency says... Please remember that UNRWA is more than Gaza. It's health care and education and social services. It's East Jerusalem, the West Bank, Jordan, Syria, Lebanon. Even if funding resumes, only $300,000 worth of appropriated funds would be released without the approval of Congress. A congressional bill that includes aid to Israel and Ukraine carries a provision blocking UNRWA funding, and it's supported by President Biden's administration. UNRWA is conducting an independent review. Earlier this year, the agency fired a dozen employees over allegations they were linked to Hamas. According to an UNRWA report released last week, some of their employees say they were pressured by Israel into making false statements linking the agency to Hamas. Sweden and Canada have pledged to restart their UNRWA contributions.